Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how to reduce a rational expression. Notice that in the numerator we have a plus. That means we have two terms, and let's see if we can factor out whatever is common between the two terms. So in the numerator we can see that between the 24 and the 8, that 8 is a common factor, x cubed is a common factor, and y squared is a common factor, which means we can factor out an 8, an x cubed, and a y squared, which leaves us in the numerator with 3x cubed y cubed plus, well, I factor out an 8, an x cubed and a y squared, that means plus 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, I'm left, well, I don't have anything to factor out. It's simply 8x to the 7th, y to the first power. But now notice that we have this term multiplied by this binomial which means that I can factor anything out or simplify anything by dividing both the top and the bottom by a common factor here. Notice that the top can be divided by 8 and the denominator can be divided by 8. We have an x cubed and an x to the 7, so I can factor out an x cubed and simplify and this becomes, instead of x to the 7, this becomes x to the 4th because x to the 7 divided by x to the 3rd gives me x to the 4th. And finally, I can Divide both the top and the bottom by y, this gives me a 1, and this gives me a y to the first power instead of y to the second power. We can rewrite this as in the numerator, all we have left, the 8 is a, it became a 1, the x cubed became a 1, so it's 1 times 1 times y, so we have a y times 3x cubed y cubed plus 1, and in the denominator, all we have left is an x to the fourth power, and that would be the most reduced form that we can get this in. That is the answer for our original problem. This is the most reduced form or the simplest form for this particular rational expression. And that's how it's done.